G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm going to take a look at today is the Helicontex EDC backpack. The EDC backpack from Helicon Tex is a 21 litre backpack capacity weighing in at less than 1.2 kilos and it's made out of a 500D Cordura fabric. Now this is going to be used as my get home bag in the car. So I will be adding other pouches, stuff inside and outside to this. So this video is just to show you that the, let's say the foundation of my get home pack. It, on the bottom there's no attachment points so you can't add anything underneath. At the bottom here as you can see you've got the molly webbing or the pals webbing so you can attach a pouch to that. We have the three rows but we've got the five columns I'll call it coming down. We've got a bungee cord here with a line lock on it. So you can adjust that to fit your, I don't know, helmet in there, your raincoat, anything at all. You've got a hock and loop panel here, which is also known as a Valco panel. So you can add your personal details, your mail patches on there, anything you like. On the side, we've got another three rows with three columns of the Molly Stroke Pals webbing. So I've got my cat down here by my feet playing and he's trying to bite me at the same time as making this video. I do have a, a pouch to go on there and it's the same on the opposite side. The three rows and the three columns coming down and I have a pouch to go here too and I'll be showing you that in another video. Both sides you've got compression straps. All the buckles on this are the Rujin buckles, so they're very high quality, good buckles. All the zips are YKK zippers, so another good brand of zips. Both sets of zips I've got your dust guard on there to stop any dust to go in it, uh, going in and to make it watertight or not watertight but waterproof let's say we've got a, about a one inch uh, flap that goes over the top to protect the zip from the weather from the rain so if the rain's going to be hitting that it's just going to fall off and not go into your zip. On the back of this is actually lined so they've finished it off really nice Let's flick it over. I actually got it attached to one of my storage boxes up there, a light one, so I'm just hoping it doesn't fall off. So if you see my hand go up here, I'm just pushing it back into place. Shoulder straps. They feel like they're about half an inch thick. Really nice padding on it. Very similar by the feels of it to your back panel. Now this mesh that's on the top of the padding, helps disperse your heat so you're not going to perspire so much. And we've got an air vent coming all the way down here, I'll call it. Let's get rid of that. So that'll allow air to flow through there, keeping your back cooler and also reducing the uh, perspiration, your sweat. Now coming back to the straps, the shoulder straps, we've got elastic webbing there. So you can actually put your pipe from your hydration, which fits in here, through that. We've got a fitted D-ring. And we've got a bit of webbing here. Nothing there, so you can attach a pouch to that, which I'll be showing you as we go along. I've got one that's going to go on there. We've got a chest strap. And we've got the elastic at the back to allow it to stretch. 
these you can take off. So we can get the buckle closer without pulling it off. It's got a split there and there, so you can actually unhook the webbing coming down out of that and remove that completely if you don't like them. I never used to, but I do like them now. I don't have them really tight where they're squashing me. I just have them at the point where it's holding my shoulder straps in a comfortable position and stopping them falling off my shoulders. Now you go down to your Rujin buckles here, and quick release. So you could just drop your pack and go and do your waist buckle first. But that's the same on the other side. Really nice, put together nice, quality nice. What can I say? Nice. So you've got a good amount of strap here, so you can adjust your shoulders depending on how big you are and how you like it. Might put them over the back out of the way. You got your waist belt or stroke hip belt. That can be taken off from this point. You just unthread it through the buckle there. So you don't need to keep that on if you don't like it. And it's like I said, it's only a 21 litre pack. It's similar to a day pack size. The buckles are the, it says, uh, Rujin Flex Dual Style 38mm So that let you know how big they are and how big your strap is So the strap's just a little bit bigger so you'll probably find the actual strap is about the 40mm But not carrying a lot of weight and just for getting home you're not going to be going on a multi-day hopefully with this Or I won't be So that's not going to be no problem to me I've found now with the different materials and using them this type of strap doesn't bother me so much i don't need one of those really thick padded ones that you get on the normal hikers packs which you pay a lot more money for we do have elasticate on there so you are able to put your strap back through to hold it in place but I don't use them, I take them off. I just find them a pain if I need to adjust it. That means I've got to pull this out, adjust it, then mess around putting it back in. So I just take them off completely. Your handle, I'll take it off the hook for now. Nice grab handle. It's not too big, it sits on top. Not at the back like some of them, the ones on the back here uh, can be a pain in the ass because they're sticking out and they're rubbing on the back of your neck as you're walking. Where with this one, it's up on high, so that's not going to be touching you at all. That's, <laughs> I don't know if it's overkill, but I like it the way they've done it. Instead of just stitching it here, they've brought the actual handle strap all the way down. So it's stitched here where it joins the pack. So I lift it up. You stitch here, which joined to the pack. Stitch across there, across there, across there, across there, with a box next X stitching that on this side. So that's five points of, and the same on this side. So I take it this is going to be a very strong handle. It's not pulling on one bit. It's spreading the load. So the chance of it ripping if you've got anything heavy in there is reduced by the way they've done it. And I really do like that. Well, while I got it off, your hydration port comes out here in the middle, so you've got a choice whether to pass it over your left shoulder or your right shoulder. The top of your shoulder straps, and there's no load lifters, it's just stitched straight into there, which I don't have a problem with them on the smaller packs. Okay, there's two sections to this pack. You got uh, one at the front, which is from here to here, and it's probably really. Let's have a look. You're probably looking at about an inch and a half in uh, in depth that way. But as you put things in, and this material does soften up, it can bulge out more. So you end up getting a little bit more in there, or what you normally carry will go in there more comfortable. 
your zips, YKK zippers, paracord, pour lid on it. With shrink wrap on, same one in the other section. This first part, as you can see, we've been YKK zippers, they open quite nice. We have space there. So basically from here to there is the bottom. So you've got areas to put stuff in there that's not gonna fall out your pack. You've got your hook and loop on the back, your Velcro, and this is the loop section. And that means that we can attach something like the, the EDC pouch. The insert pouches. I'll just do one side and that can go there. So the hook and loop, your Velcro is nice and strong. So that is a nice feature, especially with an EDC backpack. And it's going to be ideal for me using it as my get home. And your second one is a lot deeper. Right, so that's one, two, three, it's about four, four and a half inches deep. The full height of the pack across the full bottom there. That's the zip down and do the compression buckles. and that can fold over. They've got a nice lining on it. The zip comes down to what's that, about two thirds of the way. So again, you've got two, uh, one third of your pack going all the way down to the bottom, side to side with things that can sit in there nice and not fall out. I've got the Helicon Tix Swagman. And let's just show you that going that way. That's in, it's in basically level, and we've still got room down the side to add more in there. So it gives you an idea what you can fit in and how deep that bottom section is. No other pockets in there, no dividers, just one single pocket from top to bottom. What we do have at the top is an adjustable strap or you adjust the buckle up and down the strap and that's to hold your hydration bladder another two things we have in here are these loops and what they're for if i remember the name of it is the backpack panel insert attaches to these we've got the velcro holding this closed where you've got your hardback on it, which helps keep the shape of the pack. And running down here, you've got an aluminium uh, flat rod, is what I'll say, and it's formed to shape to your back, and that can be adjusted to suit you. You can take it out if you want, you can reshape it so it fits you more comfortable. And just above there, we have where your hydration goes through hydration port that's that on there so that's your helicon tex edc <coughs> backpack which is going to be my get home bag in case anything happens when i'm out in the car uh, I need to either walk home overnight or some distance or just wait to be picked up. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button 
click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care